Alright guys, I'm here at the house, man. I made it to the house. And right now, I'm just got the taco. See, all type of crazy stuff. There. But no, that's the taco. Me, I got my sauce on over there. I had to go back for any dollar because I forgot the wipes, guys. Forgot the wipes. Forgot to pay the bill. So I went to a different one, though. And I forgot my cigarette. So, um, yeah, but I'm back at 741. Hey, Taco. Taco Tuesday. Hell oh, yeah, I might be. You broke my heart into tears on my pillow. In my heart. All right, guys, there go the tacos. One got messed up and fell over, man. It was looking pretty. Oh, well. Just want to smack it back over. Looking like those. But anyway, I'm about to eat. This is actually perfect. Everybody's so crazy. But, um, I'm about to talk about common sense, man. I noticed that, um, That um, common sense is not that common no more. Right? You know, I, talk about the kids, man. These kids is crazy. Right? So, you kids don't realize that they're at war right now. <laughs> It might sound crazy like I'm saying this, but they have war right now, and they got people going against them and competing with them and trying to take stuff from them that they don't even know exists. Like, you just a kid, and you got people already trying to take your freedoms away from you in the future. And it took me a while to realize this because when I was young, I wasn't thinking like this. I was thinking about this stuff. But, mm, this apple good. But, you got somebody making rules right now about what you're going to have in the future. I now realize that they're intact. They're under attack on all sides. And the sad thing about it is that they think they're smarter than what they are. You get what I'm saying? So, let's think about it. The rules and stuff that they try to push through right now, who is it gonna really affect later on? The kids. Then when they get older, they're gonna have to follow by those rules and those laws and they're gonna wonder who made this law. And they're not gonna understand it was made when they was a kid. Like the money system, the money system changing and stuff like that, and they putting all type of handcuffs on these kids. Don't even realize it financially, and that's like how the Bible is speaking of. I mean, that's the sad thing. They don't want to take God out of their life. They don't want God in their life, and thinking all type of crazy stuff about God. Kids, like ridiculous. Not realizing that. The Bible even speaks about it. The Quran speaks about it. The Torah speaks about it. It's going to be to a point where you can't even give somebody money if you want it to. It's going to be to a point where 
if they did something for you, you're not going to be able to pay them to the point where if they were selling something, you're not going to be able to buy it from them. To the point where they be in hell burning, you can't give them water, and you can see them. And that's because y'all welcome in this systems of slavery and let slavery advance. And so mm, on a whole new capacity on a mental level. Because you have to remember also with great good comes great evil. That's one hand part of it. Another part of it is these kids really want to be grown. And certain people not helping. Cause they don't got no kids. They think they're smarter than you, and they're stupid. The people who try and help the kids out and do this with the kids and all that stuff, man, bum all that. Like, you don't have many kids, but you feel like it's perfectly fine for a child to do certain things. That's not appropriate for a child to do. You sound ridiculous. Like we're in here. not singling nobody out, but if you, the school send a paper to take your kid out of town and your child ten, eleven, and twelve, you want to take them out of the state overnight for a couple nights, and then tell you, oh, parents can't come. So even if I'm not coming, a parent that I trust, that I know, let's say me and one of the other parents, friends, best friends or something like that, they can't even go? What type of nonsense is that? That just sound crazy. They don't even know how much they under attack. But 
because first of all, Giles' mental mental is under attack. It'd be a social media and media in general, making them feel certain ways on purpose. But there's different government agencies that try to do that. So they won't focus on what really matters. So instead of focus on building your family, keeping your family together, creating businesses and creating some type of power base for you and your civilization and your tribe, your family. They want you to think about who you want to have sex with. And not just who you want to have sex with, but tell you that you should have sex with the opposite sex instead. And if you don't do it, you're not cool. Or tell you that, oh, you need to lose weight and you mask any, or tell you, oh, this is wrong with you. I mean, they become a vacuum of stupidity over and over again. You're saying stupid stuff over and over again. And the kids are under attack. The kids are believing this shit. And then I tell them, and they think I'm crazy. But that's a certain way I tell them. I tell them, and I leave it alone. You know, because I don't, I don't be around the bush. I just tell them what it is. And then later on, they start seeing it for what it is. I tell them what it is. Like, this is what's happening. And this is what they really trying to do. Like, yeah, you caught up in the information that's being delivered, but you now understand the underlying meaning of the message and who is giving the message. When you look at who giving the message, you can see their agenda. And you can see their affiliations and their agenda. So why they'll be saying something like this? And a lot of stuff be lies anyway. Another part of it is whooping your kids. So, you mean to tell me you got these kids thinking that getting whooping is abuse? So, if your child put their hands on you and you don't fight them, you just whoop them. You're abusive. That's what your kids think. If your child puts their hands on you and you fight them, oh, now all of a sudden you do something? No. It's called self defense. The whooping is the love part. That's that's just giving you a whooping. But if your mom or your dad beat you up after you don't put your hands on them, it's called self defense. Because at that point, you put your hands on them. You done lost your mind. What men's come from, like, being disrespectful? Like, they tell you to do something and you talking back? Or they tell you to do something and you trying to tell them off or arguing with them or stuff like that? No, it's not that. You got to respect your elders, respect your parents. You know what I'm saying? The ones who deserve respect. The ones who do everything for you, y'all be tripping, man. Y'all don't be wanting to do no hard work either. Y'all gonna be crazy, man. Y'all gotta get it together, man. But how y'all gonna build a civilization, keep a civilization going, and the moral fabrics of the civilization 
the civilization y'all don't want to follow. Y'all want to get rid of the moral fabrics of a civilization. The way y'all going, ain't no humans going to exist. And truthfully, they try and make y'all slaves even harder. They try and make y'all robot slaves now. That's what they're not saying. They talking about oh AI this, AI that, artificial intelligence. If you want to know the real story, they're afraid that the AI will use y'all to run stuff and take over stuff. So AI be your master and not them. Because they want to figure out how they could say your master. And they want to put chips in your brain, put robotic parts on you, and say, yeah, this is going to help you with this. Oh, yeah, your heart, it'll be all right. And then they ain't got to feed you or nothing. Cyborgs, that's what they call it. And then, on top of it, they even try and go around you. And just make the machine, just make the mechanics. And that's why they're tripping about AI. They already know they can't control AI. They were going to try to use AI. And they try to use humans. You see, the thing about with human beings is the tissue will break down. But they try and capture an essence, something that they can control that's in you, your soul. They've been trying to collect souls for years. You don't even know who you're fighting against. So you ever start putting God in your life first. Start with that and then work your way down that rabbit hole. <laughs> You know, so crazy because these kids telling good parents that they bad parents because they won't just let them out in the streets and just run around and do whatever the hell they want to do. Like my daughter want me think I made a mistake. For not being with her mother, I think. She says it, but then she don't say it. Like, I didn't make a mistake for not being with your mother. Your mother no longer wanted to be with me. She wanted to be with other guys. So I let her. And that what happens in relationships. I was it. I was going in a different direction. I started making my changes to my life. And, you know, it was what it was. <laughs> Me and my wife, we didn't reconnect until years after... <laughs> All this stuff happened. About a year or two after all that stuff happened with me and my baby mom. Because during that time, I was at my girlfriend's house with my girlfriend and my other <laughs> girlfriend. I'm a friend, you know, you can say friend. But, yeah, those who... Well, all my friends' houses, I was with all of them at that time. So it was not like I was with my baby mom. I left my baby mom for my wife. No, that's not what happened. And quite frankly, I tried to marry my wife. I met my baby mom. She wanted to get married. She had other interests that didn't work out.
Like, it's crazy. I'm telling good parents, a bad parent, that's ridiculous. Because you have no idea what bad parent is. Because a lot of good parents shield their kids from bad people. You know what I'm saying? They try to shield them from bad people. And try not to be baddie, so you get what I'm saying? Like, my daughter, I gave her a whooping one time because she took all my cigarettes and broke them up, put them in garbage. Talking about, you don't need to be smoking anyway. That was crazy. So I whooped her. I just bought a fresh pack of cereals and you broke them all up while I'm asleep. I don't care what you think. It's mine. I spent my money on my stuff. You don't tell me what to do. I'm your parent. If it was her cigarettes... Y'all went in there and broke them up. I'm supposed to, because she's the kid. <laughs> she's the kid. She ain't supposed to be smoking. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You, you want to act like you my parent. You crazy. Godly. Yeah, I think she still got a situation. Um, feelings about that, man. Then they be I want you to apologize for stuff that you be wrong for. They be tell you oh, you should apologize for what you did. <laughs> Nigga, you sound crazy. And you sound soft as hell. You kids soft, man. Soft and delusional. And they all feed each other the same delusional stuff. You know what I'm saying? And they don't understand how we just letting the we a generation, the millennial generation. You gotta remember the. Min- I am a millennial. I just found that out. But um, we're a generation that came up under the teachings of like Robert Kiyosaki, all these different entrepreneurs, and all these um self help people and things like that. We didn't come under a new age philosophy. Came up under the old school philosophy with entrepreneurship. So we worked and we created businesses and stuff. So we figured like, all right, I could go this far with a job. I need to do something on the side or I need to just straight take care of business. Yeah, I get what I'm saying? And these kids don't necessarily understand it. It's a certain age bracket, too, I'm noticing. Because the ones that's like 15, 16, they're starting to figure out, like, these people was crazy as hell. Our parents was right. Our parents trying to do this, that, and third. So that generation is more understanding, and they, like, coming to and stuff like that. But that 10, 11, 12, them niggas crazy. <laughs> Not crazy like that, but like, yo. And then you got the um pandemic babies. That's, that's a whole nothing. We ain't even started dealing with them yet. Them pandemic babies. But they already amazing us because they the ones who was born and smartphones was here. You know what I'm saying? They were born and cell phones, smartphones, computers, touchscreen this, um, AI. All this stuff was already here. They don't 
realize or old enough to even think about the fact that this stuff all just got created. They thinking it been here forever. You know what I'm saying? And the babies, the well, the um ten to twelve, they're the generation that actually is being accepted to use this stuff at an early age because when I was younger first of all none of this stuff existed a lot of it didn't exist and we just started getting cell phones popping like that because you gotta remember when I was younger a cell phone was just created and just let it out and it was like a brick right if you hold like this and look like a house phone and then it got smaller right then they started to flip them like this that's when the motorola flip phone started coming out and stuff like that and then so by the time i got to high school we just had the next tells and the black Perrys and phones like that and the um, sidekick the sidekick was the closest thing to a smartphone And then you got to remember that when Jaden and when Jaden was born, Jaden only 13 now. No, he's 14 now. So when Jaden was born, that's when the touchscreen smartphones start coming out. That's when those start coming out. But even with Jada, those wasn't out yet. Right. Those wasn't even out yet. When we... Which is crazy to think I was in the club with a flip phone. <laughs> That's funny. So, like, when I had mine, I was the man because ain't nobody else have a phone like that. It wasn't me people with a touchscreen phone. And I had a sidekick on top of that. So, not only is it a touchscreen, it's a sidekick. It flip around and stuff like that. And it's we got the buttons and it got the touchscreen. Yeah. So, they the generation that's dealing with all that. And through that, they being attacked. This is crazy. So, either it's going to make them real strong or it's going to make them real weak. And the um, truth about it is, it was really um, Marxism. Marxism and um, capitalism, socialism, communism. Uh, merging the one, they try and get you to kill yourself off if you weak. It's about survival of the fittest, and they testing who weak emotionally, mentally, physically, and all that stuff. And they try and off you off covertly through food and medicine and different tactics like that. Like, even with your lung capacity and stuff, they constructing your lung capacity. They they try and construct you, reconstruct you, refigure you, so that your DNA could develop in a certain way that when you have offspring, their DNA develop in a certain way, and so on and so on. And it's many different groups at work. This young is crazy. With many different agendas, it's some going to win some other people, some going to win the other people batch of people and stuff like that. And the kids don't even understand this. Not only do they don't understand it, they don't want to learn about none of this stuff. They don't care about none of this stuff. And when you start talking to them about it, they think you're crazy and delusional. So they like, oh, they putting chemicals in the food. 
But that's all I'm going to say right now. I'll let y'all later. Peace out, real fam. Oh, yeah. Another thing I keep forgetting is my generation was the generation that went to war. We literally went to war. Yeah, was surrounded by war stuff. Two wars. Gulf War and Afghanistan. So, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. One thing that we know is no excuse. It just results in um, we'll let you fail. I'll let you later. Don't talk about the world.